Today we're going to meet up with a friend of mine who just got a Dodge Charger police interceptor and we're going to help him uh, install a couple of things in it and check out the car. But first we're going to take mine to get washed. He may have the faster car, but he can't have the best looking car. Two cop cars. Is that all this channel's about? There she blows. I don't think it's seen the inside of a car wash in a couple years. I see which way it's going. Do you? Yeah. Let's do it. You got the uh, tools for this? Socket set. Yeah, I have a socket set that. So it will go like this, essentially. Yep. And then this will go like that. Yep. And then this will go into the console like where I just took the cover yeah. off. Yeah. And there's more slots on that than there are on this picture. But yeah. Still, I agree. Alright. Let's do it. Today I won't. <laughs> Alright. I'll have to figure out what I'm doing with that too. Yeah, I'm not shutting the door. It's stuck in there's stuck no handle. Forever. There's no handle. So mine goes this way. Back like that. Oh now that's just showing off. Lifts itself. Ford's got to step up their game. When I was looking back here, I found your rear handles. Oh shit! Yeah. And window switches. You already have window switches, don't you? Yeah, you already have window. Maybe those are like just blank. They're blank, yeah. Maybe. I don't like the righty tidy because it depends if the, the stick is up or down. Nah. What same nuts? as same clockwise. No, clockwise. It's always clockwise. That's no. What no? It's not always right then. That doesn't make sense. There's no, because if you, okay, let's say the thing is putting up. There's perspective to everything. But think about it, if you if look, the screw is right here and this is pointing out. If you take it right, you're gonna go clockwise. But if you take it from the if it's pointing bottom, then you can't. You're gonna take it counterclockwise. You see what I'm saying? No. I don't think so. Clockwise. Let me just test loose fit it here. So it's the so, other way. According to the picture, it's not. No. Front of vehicle has the two dots. Yeah. So this is it. Oh. I didn't even see those. Okay. Like from the back side. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right? Peace. Peace. I'm just trying to figure it out. But yeah. how does it go in? Well, slide. Slide it. I mean, then it'll go in. Just They don't go super de super far down. But yeah, you can feel the little nipples coming through. It doesn't make sense to both screw into this. Because that will ruin the, the leather. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I wonder if we can just make it snag enough that we don't have to do the screws. We can just let it snag. And then yeah, if something loose in, I can just push it back. and It won't go side to side. Yeah. yeah it won't go forward or back. Yeah. So that's a good idea. Good. That's what I would do. Okay. Before we push it down, you just set her in and see. Let's get the back side first. And then to this, so it's pretty loose. So. Okay. as much as we can. Yeah. Well, actually, the back ones I didn't ratchet down real tight yet either, so not super tight. They're not going anywhere though, because they're yeah, because they're in the back. Okay, so that's where it is. So let's 
Well, I think at this point we don't need to lift it because the, the, the nuts are providing a little resistance. Oh, so you think we can just lift this in between and then push this as, as yeah. tight as you would? Okay. I think so. Let me get this one a little looser. There we go. So now it slides. Kind of Look at this. This is uh, pretty much $700 worth of stuff. <laughs> Not crazy. Yeah. That was four. Those were 90. 450. Mm. 100 and 100. Mm. 650 total. Yeah. Crazy. Hmm. Those went up in price then. Yeah, they're like 96. It doesn't rattle too much. No, not at all. Not mine. With a suction cup. Oh, I don't use that. Have you seen it with a suction cup before? Yeah, Peerless used to use the suction cup exclusively. Does it make noise? No. Because it's, it's. He doesn't like noise at all. But this one makes so. noise for him. That one does? Yeah. The, Oh, the mirror one? Yeah. Yeah, the more I look at this, the more I think the suction cup. Do that then. There's no wrong way. Yeah. I think that's the wrong way, yeah. Boop. Boop. There you go. That has a specific direction due to the slope of the windshield. So. Yeah, you're good there. Nice, as long as it doesn't fall. I mean, I kind of like this like that. You can do that then. It's easy to view it if I want to. Yep. I don't like that. Yep, there you go. That's why I don't do it. We we can... Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. This car continues to impress me. It's a little light, so you can see what you're doing in the engine compartment. Yeah, so you need extra light, it's got you covered there. Now if you're really working on the whole engine and you pop this thing out, you literally have... Pop the hood out? Yeah. Yeah. You can access this, do, look at anything. I prefer to just uh, blind the driver. Yeah. Or the passenger. No, the driver's more fun. That is so I... bright. <laughs> You know, you can just it's use, it's hard to do from here. You just use your hand. There though. we go. Huh? You just use your hand on this. Oh, yeah. just use your hand on this? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Well, sweet. We're on a roll now. We got two openers. We got a center console, a front dash cam. We found some bonus door handles for your, yeah. your rear door handle delete. So far, we just failed on the rear dash cam and the radar detector well we didn't film the radar i just wanted i wanted to well i want to work harder once and have it good yeah put put the initial effort in and i'm with you so unfortunately we had some microphone issues and this is about all of the usable footage we have of the install activities that day um, figured out what the problem was so future videos won't have that issue. Um, uh, speaking of future videos, I'm considering doing a comparison between this 2014 uh, V8 rear-wheel drive charger police interceptor and the 2016 uh, Ford police interceptor utility uh, non-EcoBoost. Um, obviously more than just the engine, uh, some of the features such as the keyless entry on the charger and uh, ability to disable traction control on the charger. Some of the things that I'm uh, liking more about the charger than my uh, Ford. So, as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. And thanks for watching.